My name is Trenlin Hubert, and I live in San Cristobal de las Casas in Chiapas, Mexico. I was born in San Francisco, California, and my mother was an artist. We were very creative, my whole family was. We, we used to uh, put on performances, so I've been doing the arts my whole life. I really can't imagine not having art in my life. It's not, I don't understand how people do that. <laughs> when I was younger, I was like, let's change this country, let's, let, let's, let's fix it. And I kept trying to get my friends to, 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 to come along, you know, but, but people were comfortable. It's not so comfortable anymore. I want to move someplace where I can continue to pursue what I do without it being like an issue or feeling like I'm um, making myself a target by doing that. And then it came to me, why not Mexico? You love Mexico, why, why not move there? So I remember San Cristobal being really an amazing place and I love the, the forest and the whole state of Chiapas is so beautiful. I thought, just go there. It's like when I lived in Santa Fe and it's because every single day I would wake up and say, I love this place. This is the best. And so now I'm feeling that way in San Cris. I've been a, a painter, I've been a sculptor, I've, uh, you know, because of my schooling, I, I've been using a computer since 1980. I'm very savvy with a computer, but it was never my art form. What I'm creating now is a painting that slowly moves, ever so subtly, so that you don't even kind of notice it, except for moments in time. What happens is people look at my paintings and they say, what does that mean? Which I don't particularly care for that question because to me what I'm trying to do is by sharing, my, by bearing myself to elicit a response from you. I don't know what that response is. We are going to split as humanity. There are gonna be those who um, develop their own psychic and other abilities and there will be others who develop those same capabilities through technology. So there will be humans who become kind of transhuman, right? And then there will be others who will evolve in a more non-technological way. Each of us is on a path and I feel it's impossible to fall off that path because wherever your feet are placed, that is your path. But I think you can make your path more difficult. And sometimes serendipity steps in and helps you to step back into the more natural groove. Everyone thinks an artist is supposed to be all angst out and you know if they don't if they aren't like you know stressing over it then they're not gonna create work. But that's not true. I mean, it's not true for me anyway. If I'm happy, that's when I create work. When, I'm, when I feel free, that's when I create work. And I feel all of that here, no doubt, you know.